Welcome to this video in which we are going to understand the ray diagram for mirror. So previously also we have solved so many, so many past paper, IGCSE past paper questions on the topic light. Please go through them to understand this topic very nicely so that you can score top marks on this, on this chapter. Right, so let us start with, with the mirror questions, the ray diagram questions for the mirror. This is our first question on the mirror. If you want, you can pause the screen for a few, few minutes, solve the question and play the video again to understand if your working is correct. So let us understand what the question is saying. A lamp in a large room is suspended below a horizontal mirror. So where is the mirror? Identify the things which are mentioned in the question. You have the reflecting surface of the mirror. This is the mirror and this is your lamp that is fixed to the ceiling. The mirror is fixed to the ceiling. Now this figure is a scale diagram for the lamp and mirror. The image of the lamp is formed by the mirror. Obviously you have a mirror. So the mirror will create the image for the lamp. Now the part A, the first part of part A, draw two rays from the center of the lamp that strike the mirror. Use these rays to locate the image, label the image I. Let us look at the mark that this question is saying. This question is carrying three marks. That means you have to do the complete construction starting from two rays with the two normals to the two ref reflected rays to find the image ultimately. If you do not understand how the, how the ray diagram for the image works, we have a dedicated video for it step by step. It is a four step process to find the image from the mirror. So what is the first step? You draw two incident rays from the lamp. Let us start from the center of the lamp. Draw two incident rays from the lamp. Let us keep the incident rays a little bit far away so that our working does not get cluttered. Two incident rays we have drawn. Let us now draw two normals. First step let me keep writing the step as well so that you practice well. Step 1, 2, incident rays. You recall the theory that we have learnt on mirrors already in the theory videos. Step 2, two normals. Two normals for the two incident rays. So let us draw the normal. I am going to draw the normal using oh so sorry using the blue ink I am going to draw the normal. So that's your normal. Let me extend the normal on both the sides. Yes. So that's your normal and let us give names to these things that we have just drawn as well. Let us call the normal first one as N1, second normal as N2. Similarly, let us call the incident rays as I1 and I2. Things are looking more neater when we are naming them, right? Reflection happens. Reflection happens. What is the property of reflection? The angle of incidence should be equal to the angle of reflection. Let us draw the reflected rays. So that's how the reflected ray will look, for, look like for the first incident ray and that's how the reflected ray would look like for the second incident ray. How are we drawing the reflected rays? We are taking care that the angle of incident should be equal to the angle of ref reflection. I1, no space here. So this is your I1. I1 should be equal to R1. If this is your I1, this angle here and this is R1, they should be equal. Similarly, I2 should be equal to R2. I2 should be equal to R2. This is R. Sorry for my handwriting. So let us label the reflected rays as well. Let us call them R1 and R2. 
that's your step two. Step two, sorry, that's your step three. You have drawn the two reflected rays. So what was the step one? Two incident rays, I1, I2. Step two, two normals and one N2. Step three, two reflected rays, taking the care that the incident and the reflected angles are equal, two reflected rays. What is the step three? What is the step four? Step four is extension. We are going to do some imaginary extensions. We have done all these things already in our theory video. If you do not, if you have not gone through it, if you are finding it difficult to understand right now, please do go through these theory videos. So let us do the extension beyond the mirror. These are your imaginary work. Please do remember that's your imaginary work. So it has to be a dotted line. I'll create a dotted line later on. So please bear with me. This is your imaginary construction. So it has to be a dotted line. I'll convert these lines, solid lines into dotted lines. Like this. So where is the image? This is your image. Let me use another color. This is your image. And these lines have to be dotted line because the ray of light does not go inside the mirror. So all these construction has to be dotted lines. All right, you have found the image. That's your image. Let us complete the picture for the lamp. The lamp would look something like this, a cross and a circle. That's your image for the lamp. I'm calling it I. All right, image. So part one is done. It is a three mark question. Why? Because you are working so hard on this question to gain these three marks. So remember, it's a three step process. Go through the theory if you do not understand it. Second part, state two characteristics of this image. So if you go through the theory, you automatically understand two characteristics. It is a virtual image. Virtual image. It is of the same size as that of the object, same size as that of the object. You can also say that it is behind the mirror. You can also say it is at the same distance behind the mirror as the object is in front of the mirror. So many characteristics that you can talk about. But here we are talking any two of them. So let us see what they are talking about. They are saying any two. Virtual, same size, same distance, laterally inverted. The image formed by the mirror are laterally inverted. This is a thing that we have already spoken about in the theory. This is also something that you can write. Let us compare the first part, the ray diagram. Two rays, if you have drawn, you get one mark. You so show the reflected ray properly, you get one mark. Reflected rays, rays back behind the mirror, one mark. Clear image if you can draw at the correct position, the last one mark, right? Our ray diagram was perfect, so we score we score full three marks in the first question and two marks in the next question. All right. B part, suggest an advantage of positioning a mirror above the lamp. So what is the advantage of positioning a mirror above the lamp? The mirror will reflect all the light. Can you see? The mirror is reflecting all the light. So the room will be more brighter. That's one thing that you can say. Right. The room will be more brighter it is reflecting the light reflected back not wasted the room is brighter or more light or 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 terms you see so you can write any one of these points to score full marks here it's just a one mark question 
you have to just mention one point. So here is the mark scheme for this question. Let us come to the next question which is also on mirror. Here also I would recommend that you can pause the screen for a few minutes, solve the questions and then come back. All right. So let us understand what is happening in the question. The figure here shows an object O placed in front of the mirror M. You have the mirror. Two rays from the object to the mirror are shown. Two rays are shown to you. On this figure, for one of the rays shown, draw the normal to the mirror. So for any one of the rays, you have to draw the normal. Let us draw the normal like this. Let us call it N. And your this question is done. You got your one mark. Mark the angle of incidence and label this angle as X. Where is the angle of incidence? It is always between the incident ray and the normal. So that's your angle X. One more mark. If you're marking your angle of incidence between the mirror and the incident ray, at this location where I'm showing with the pointer, you are wrong. This is something which I keep saying again and again because I have seen my students making this mistake again and again. Hence, I am saying it again and again. X is angle of incidence is the angle between the incident ray and the normal. Next question, I am putting my pointer here. On this figure, draw the reflected rays for both the incident rays. Let us draw the reflected rays. Before drawing the reflected rays, we need to have the normal for both the rays. Right? We have drawn the normals. Let us call them N1, N2. Let us call the rays as well as incident ray I1, incident ray I2. Let us now draw the reflected rays. Something like this looks correct, I think. You have to be very careful. You have to be counting the blocks and checking it out if it is going correct. All right. So these are your reflected rays. Let's call them R1 and R2. All right. Now the last part, construction. Now you have to do some construction lines. Draw construction lines to locate the image of O. Label this as I. Do some construction lines. Construct some construction lines. Let me use red color because it is more contrast. So you have to extend these reflected rays beyond, behind the mirror. So you have to extend it behind the mirror, something like this. So you pay, place your ruler on and it has to be a straight line extension. These are your construction rays or imaginary work. So therefore you plot them as dotted lines. The point of intersection that you'll get, let me use the blue color, the point of intersection is your image I and this completes your working you have found the image I let me show you the mark scheme you can make a note of it and we are done with these two questions on mirrors